And so we see that the Seventh-day Adventist doctrines of Uriah Smith, Brother Branham talks about it, crept into the message groups, making the soul and the flesh the same, and began to teach soul sleeping until the resurrection of the dead from the graveyard. 99% of the message preachers today follow the Uriah Smith Seventh-day Adventist doctrine, and if you told them that, they'd get so angry at you, they'd be ready to kill you. But they follow his doctrine in saying that the flesh goes to the graveyard, and it lays there and sleeps until the time of the resurrection, and then they all get up, the body, the soul, the spirit, and they all come back together. One comes from the sixth dimension, one comes out of his sleep, and they unite back. Now, that's exactly what Uriah Smith taught. All you got to do is go out and study it. And Brother Branham said in the fifth seal, he said, I do not believe that doctrine. He said, I believed it, but he said, I saw something in the fifth seal when I was looking at it. I saw something that changed my life forevermore, and I will never see it that way again. He was very clear about it. What did he see? He seen there wasn't nothing come out of that grave out there. Amen. And he knew that he had to be very cautious and smart and wise about how he preached it. <laughs> so he had it. He corrected it. They have the resurrection of the dead from graveyards. Now many believe when the flesh resurrects, it is the soul coming out of its sleep. The prophet corrected this misconception in his message on the fifth seal. A misunderstanding of the twofold being is what caused William Branham to have eternal security wrong. He was putting it on the wrong realms. He was trying to place the flesh man in eternity with no eternal scripture or promises anywhere to be found. Say, Brother Parnell, you, you need to be very careful about how you talk about the message of Brother Branham. Brother Branham was just like you and I. I could go back and look at my early messages, even in this, when I come to the third coming. I could go back and look at my early messages, and I would have to correct and correct things that I was saying back there. Little things, odds and end pieces, where I'd bring second coming in. I'd bring all kinds of things in, because I didn't understand it all, but a progression got me to where now I almost look back at it, I do look back at the ones when I was preaching at Fairborn, and I laugh. I've listened to them, and I'd ride down the road, and I would just laugh and say, oh, my God, what a mess we were in. But still, God was moving us progressively through. <laughs> and we will continue to move through this great progression. One man, he told me, he said, uh, or he didn't tell me, he told his people, he said, I believe Brother Parnell has finally got to the point that he doesn't preach one thing that we believe. My wife was sitting there and I raised my hand and said, hallelujah. <laughs> Finally, I'm not preaching one thing they believe. <laughs> Amen.